so good morning children uh, yesterday we have learned a method called method of completing square and today's topic will be quadratic formula but before moving to quadratic formula we have two things which we have to do the first one is uh, we have to discuss 10th question we have to discuss 10th question of exercise 5.2 at least for some of the students right some students have solved it but some students did not so let me solve that vital right then after that second question of exercise 5.3 first bit yesterday we discussed one and two questions were given as homework some people have done good people have done and there are some average people those who are doing but they are not posting i don't know what is going on why they are not posting if they are not posting then no need to attend my class also no if you don't follow my words if you don't follow the words of a teacher then you are not having any uh, you know any right to uh, join my class isn't it hmm so if you are doing the homework please post it and if you are not doing the homework please at least try to do it wrong or right no problem you post to me na na i will correct and i will uh, you know resend to you nowadays i am little bit busy but whenever i get time i will respond definitely definitely i will respond yeah so please do that so we will be discussing one question again of uh, method of completing square then only i will be going to quadratic formula right yes so let me move ahead with the 10th question it's already ready here a motor boat heads upstream a distance of 24 km in a river <clears throat> whose current is uh, running at 3 km per hour harsha you can't hear my voice is it mute no i'm i'm okay what happened harsha children you are able to hear my voice my voice is clear can you just give me thumbs up gauri priya just show me thumbs up nana yeah it's clear Everybody is giving thumbs up. Done. Then, kider hai problem kider hai. Okay, children. A motor boat heads upstream. We have already learned uh, the two words called upstream and downstream. Where is that downstream? Not there. Not there. Okay. <clears throat> What do you mean by upstream? The meaning of upstream is. if the water is flowing in this direction and if the boat is traveling in the opposite direction then we call that the boat is traveling upstream right yes and if the water is flowing in this way and even the boat is also uh, traveling in the same direction then we call it as downstream so in simple sentence if the boat is traveling opposite to the stream then it is called upstream and if it is traveling in the same direction of the stream stream means flow of water then it is called as downstream so what is important here is when a boat is traveling upstream or downstream definitely the stream will also have certain speed as here it is given that uh, the water is having 3 km per hour sahasra switch on video so here uh, we need to we need to talk about the relative speed now why there is a requirement of this relative speed see beta imagine imagine that you are sitting on a boat imagine that you are sitting on a boat and the boat is moving along with the direction of the uh, water so even though the motor is motor of the boat is off the boat will be moving why because even the water is also having certain speed right the water of the boat is also having certain speed that's why the boat will be moving right and then the speed of the boat will be what it will be same as equal to speed of the water why satvik is smiling i mean the satvik ayya now if if the boat motor is on and if it is traveling uh, at the speed of 10 so we will feel as if it is traveling more than 10 because 
even the speed of the water is also helping. So finally, what I want to tell, if x is the speed of the boat and y is the speed of the water, x is speed of the boat and y is speed of the water, if both are traveling in the same direction, then their relative speed is sum of their speeds. Button on the button goes quale. Button goes coconda, atlane martlarte, itlane out today. Andaru, Mundu, Navula Palautaru, Yendukandi. Nor Manadi, phone Manadi, Velu Manadi. Just to tap chair to make a dandy. Sir, so what is the relative speed upstream? It is x minus y, and downstream it is x plus y. So finally, relative speed of a boat when it is traveling in the same direction of the stream of the water is sum of their speeds. Whereas uh, if it is traveling in the opposite direction, then difference of the speed. This thing you have to remember. Now let me once again read the question. I did not read the question completely. Right. So now have a look what the question is telling. A motor boat is traveling opposite direction. So where opposite direction? Upstream means that only no. Just now I have clearly explained. A motorboat heads upstream a distance of 24 km in a river whose current is running at 3 km per hour. Whose current? Current means what? Electricity? No. Current means flow of water here. The water is running at a speed of 3 km per hour. Now the trip up and back. Presently the boat is traveling upstream. Now when we say that Trip up and back. What does it mean? Again, when the boat is coming backside, that is downstream. It takes six hours. It takes totally six hours. Assuming that the motor boat maintained a constant speed, what was its speed in still water? I don't know whether you understood the question or not, but the last sentence is very, very important because this last sentence will be our first sentence. And of course, the conclusion of the solution. So here, let me take uh, like this solution. Let, let speed of boat, speed of boat in still water. Manpreet Singh, Manpreet Singh, where are you? Phone me dekh Phone me dekh थोड़ा सिर को संभाल के रखो सिर जो है ना बहुत भारी हो गया इधर उधर हिला रहे हैं ऐसा मत हिलाओ एक ही जगह पर बैठो कांस्टेंटली बैठो अच्छे से बैठो ठीक है ना ताकि मैं समझ सकूं कि आप समझ रहे हो आप ऐसा ऐसा करोगे तो मैं समझूंगा भैया क्या हुआ सो लेट स्पीड ऑफ द बोट इन स्टिल वाटर इज इक्वल्स टू x किलोमीटर पर आवर लेट मी टेक द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट एज x किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड स्पीड ऑफ वाटर इज आल्सो गिवन स्पीड ऑफ करंट यू कैन कॉल इट अ स्पीड ऑफ करंट that is flow of water is given as three kilometer per hour. It's already given three kilometer per hour. Where it's given, it's given over here, right? Now distance is also given. Distance one way. Distance covered, distance covered in one trip. Distance covered on one trip is 24 kilometer. So when it is downstream again, it will travel 24 kilometer, right? Yeah. <clears throat> now the subject is six hours, Nana. It took for the boat to travel both upstream and downstream. It went to uh, you know some destination and again it came back and it took totally six hours time. It has been taken six hours time. So time is the subject. Uh, you guys know that speed is given by a distance upon time. Speed is given by distance by time. So we can make time as a subject and the speed will come over here and we get time is equals to distance by speed. Time is what? Distance by speed. So here we can write as per, as per given condition, as per given condition. What's the given condition? Uh, the condition is that trip up and back takes six hours. That's the given condition. So let me write here. It takes six hours or no need. Now, let me talk about the time it took for the boat to travel upstream. 
it is distance by time acha what is the distance it traveled upstream it is 24 km and what is its relative speed when it is upstream the relative speed is difference of the speed so x minus 3 this is the speed of the boat x is speed of the boat and 3 is speed of the current i repeat this is the time taken by the boat to travel upstream distance by speed distance is 24 km and speed is x minus 3 i hope you're getting me i hope you're getting me so next what is the time taken uh, to travel downstream let me write that also so for that plus i will be using plus downstream again the distance will be same but the speed will be x plus 3 that is speed of the boat or the relative speed when a boat is traveling uh, along with the same direction of the uh, flow of the water it will be sum of this speed so we get 24 by x minus 3 this is the time taken for upstream this is the time taken for downstream and the total time taken is 6 hours so is equals to 6 that's what we need to write and now if you solve this trilochan are you there trilochan please respond trilochan can you unmute acha did i yeah okay okay no i'm just asking you whether you are there or not please respond right okay so now let me take the uh, lcm of the denominator it is x minus 3 into x plus 3 i got the lcm by multiplying the denominators children so then i get the permission to do cross multiplication so i will be getting 24 multiplied with x plus 3 Plus twenty four multiplied with x minus three is equals to six. Uh, this is solving. Anybody has any doubts? You can ask me here in this step. Is the step clear? I took the LCM of the denominators by multiplying them. So when I do so, I if I get the uh, you know LCM by multiplying the denominator, then I get the permission to do cross multiplication. So twenty four into x plus three plus twenty four into x minus three. Now we need to solve it further. uh when we solve it further what you will get you will get are you sick 24 we could have taken as common we could have taken it as common it would have been more simpler just a minute nobody is helping me yeah think in a different manner 24 i am taking common nana when i take common i will get x minus 3 plus 1 by x plus 3 and uh, here we have 6 so 6 1 is 6 Six six four is a twenty-four, so we are getting inside four into inside. Now you take the LCM x minus three <clears throat> into x plus three. Now you do the cross multiplication. One into x plus three is x plus three, plus one into x minus three is plus x minus three. Wow, how simple it is! And here one is there. So I took twenty-four common actually here, right? now take this 4 to that side that is right hand side you will get 1 by 4 and uh, the denominator will be x square minus 3 square how how because it is appearing for me as a minus b into a plus b uh, which can be written as a square minus b square it can be written as a square minus b square and what about the numerator have a look uh, numerator this 4 has already gone 4 has already gone here it became by 4 now the numerator plus 3 and minus 3 will get straight off plus 3 and minus 3 will get straight off and you will get 2x yeah one more step uh 2x by x square minus 9 is equals to 1 by 4 now you do cross multiplication and uh, you will be getting like uh, 8x is equals to x square minus 9 think this 8x also even that side nothing will be left here it will become 0 is equals to x square minus 8x minus 9 now i took this 8x which is positive plus 8x to that side it became negative so not only that i have placed it in its position what is its position second term x square is the first term and x is the second term yeah now please again reshuffle it and uh, you write it as x square minus 
8x minus 9 is equals to 0. And we get something like this factorization method. Have a look. Minus 9x squared. And the middle term is minus 8x. We want two numbers whose product is minus 9 and whose sum is minus 8. So what can I go? I can go like uh, minus 9 and then plus 1, I think so. Minus 9x and plus 1x. Have a look, please verify. Minus into plus is minus 9 into 1 is 9. x into x is x squared. So it is satisfying the upper condition. That means its product is giving us minus 9x squared. Now, it has to again satisfy the down condition also. That is the sum should be minus 8x. Is it so? Yes. Minus 9x plus 1x is definitely minus 8x. So it is satisfying. So in the place of minus 8x, we are going to write minus 9x plus 1x. Why, Ramu, your video is off? It's a rule. Video should be on. Switch on your video. Otherwise, I will take you out of the class. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Ramu. Now we need to take x as common from the first two terms. We get x minus 9 and here nothing is common means 1 is common. x minus 9 is equals to 0. Sir, why that much first? Because this is factorization method. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. And we are getting here x minus 9 as common and inside we get x plus 1 is equals to 0. So we are getting once x minus 9 is equals to 0 and once x plus 1 is equals to 0. So we are getting two cases, x as 9 and once x as negative minus 1. Actually, what is x? x is speed of the board in still water and speed cannot be negative. So we don't take this. We don't consider that. And we need to write that as speed can't be negative as speed cannot be negative or can't be negative can't be negative x is equals to 9 therefore therefore speed of boat speed of parava in still water in still water is 9 kilometer per hour nine. take the answer once Yeah, let's take a screenshot. It's a little bit lengthy, so it became small. Take a screenshot and show me thumbs up quickly. Everybody done? Okay, Nana. Now let me move ahead. Let me move to the next. Yeah, uh, we'll be seeing this question. Second one, I did not give you as homework, but a few people even solved that also second also, and they have sent me the answer. Very good. So now we will be seeing this second one and then we will understand what is quadratic formula. So second one, 4x squared plus 4 root 3x plus 3 is equals to 0. Where is the whiteboard? Whiteboard is over here. Yes, it's here. Right. Now the second question. Quickly. <clears throat> Guys, I am still in method of completing square I'm solving the second one by using method of completing square so here as per our tradition first we write given a quadratic equation that is 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus 3 is equals to 0 right yes what's it just a minute some people are doing annotation Maybe I did not, yeah, I did not do. So the disable that, excuse me, just a minute. Yes. Only 37 speed people. Yes, no, no, video is on, no? Maybe that's why, or the network issue, what should I do? 
I am not recording. I will not be posting this. So compulsory, you have to attend the class every day's class. So the first step, the first step is make the make it as monic. The second step is take the constant to the other side. And the third step is insert two by two after the symbol of the second term. Insert two by two in second term. So these are the steps which we have to follow. Right? Yeah. First check whether it is monic or not. No, no, it's not monic. Uh, why it's not monic? Because the coefficient of x square is four over here. It should be one. Then we say, or then we call it as a monic. Uh, so as the coefficient is four, uh, let us divide both side, divide both side by four. Why four only? Because four by four will give us one, right? Yes. Now divide both sides by four and you'll get four x squared plus four root three x plus three upon four is equals to zero upon four. Now right hand side zero upon four is zero. And in the left hand side, uh, you will get uh, this by four will be partially given to everybody like 4 x square by 4 plus 4 root 3 by 4 x sorry 4 root 3 by 4 x plus 3 by 4 this is what you will be getting and uh, from this from this uh, 4 and 4 will get cancelled <clears throat> 4 and 4 will get cancelled here also 4 and 4 will get cancelled you're left with x square plus root 3 x plus 3 by 4 is equals to zero. Now children, our first task is over. What is that? Make it as a monic. Yeah, we have done. Now let us go for the second task. What is that constant? Constant means take to the right hand side. That's a simple task, but you have to remember now. Yeah. Now taking this, uh, uh, what do you say? Plus three by four to the other side, we get minus three by four. So that is done. Next minus root three by two, yeah. Uh, so now let us go for the third task that is insert two by two. When we insert two by two, <coughs> it's very important. Even Chandana, I also request you also to check it once Chandana. You have done yesterday, I have seen, but something which you forgot is copying me. You did not copy me, sir. Yeah, plus is there, keep plus. Plus is there, keep plus. And then you should keep two by two. You have done this also, Chandana. Then you have to write root three into x. Yeah, root three x. But after this, what you should do, you know, you should, you should circle two and x. So this thing you did not do. So please circle two and x. Why? Because this is next, which we are going to write first. Is equals to minus three by four. So our third task is over. Now this will become what? This will become, first I will write the circled two and the circled X. And then whatever is left, that is called P. Whatever is left, what is left? Numerator root three by two. Root three by two is left. So this is our B. This is our B, right? Okay, so we got our B. This is, this is A and this is B. Yes, sir. So now you can do something. What is that? Add that B square on both sides. Why, sir? Because we want to make it as a complete square. No, the method of completing square means we need to complete the square. So let me write add B. This is the B square on both sides. So when you add, what you will be getting? You will be getting uh, X square plus two into x into root three by two. And just now you decided to add root three by two whole square. That's not only one side, even the other side also. What is the other side? Plus root three by two whole square. Now these three terms will be compressed. They will be compressed and they will be uh, written as a plus b whole square. Now who decided whether it is plus or minus this second term symbol will decide, right? Yes. So a plus b whole square is equals to what about this side? It is minus three by four, Nana, plus 
uh, root 3 square, root 3 square, the root will be getting cancelled. You will get 3 by 2 square. 2 square is 4. Oh my God. We got same fraction with opposite symbol. So it will give us a wonderful opportunity of striking. And then we are left with what? Just 0. So x plus root 3 by 2 whole square is equals to 0 over here. What it is? 0. Now, children, what is the next step? The next step is uh, we should try to make the x as a subject. So one by one, first take the square to the other side, then even take this also other side. So that is one by one, right? Okay, so first square will be moving other side. And when square will move other side, it will become square root. Not only that, it will be plus or minus. Please remember, because plus or minus, it can be, we, we have one, two roots, that's the thing. So now we get x plus root 3 by 2 is equals to Chandana. It is plus or minus 0. Anyhow, root, root 0 is 0. That's clear. But the thing what I'm telling is now this plus root 3 by 2 will come and better to place here. Sir, can't we take here? Yes, you can take. But I'm telling no, better to place here because plus or minus is in between. So try to make the plus or minus in between. So we'll get here x is equals to x is equals to minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2 plus or minus 0. So x is equals to plus or minus 0. Simply you can avoid minus root 3 by 2 plus 0 once and x is equals to minus root 3 by 2 minus 0 once. So it's not doing any harm or it's not getting any benefit. So finally, we are getting x as minus root 3 by 2. And again, x as minus root 3 by 2. So these roots are real and equal. These roots are real and equal. At last, you can write, therefore, the root is. Sir, why root is? Till now, you wrote roots, no? Yeah, because it's singular, no? The root is minus root 3 by 2. Okay, children, I'm done with my job. So please... Take a screenshot and if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Otherwise, I need to move to... Is it visible to you? Yeah. I can't on my video because my charging is only 14%. <laughs> Why it is 14%? Hmm? Saku no vithike chance lo chee kandamma. Okay. Asaku, isaku. Principal ma'am. So everybody should switch on. Kada Vishnu, Vivek, Ashish, Madhumadhu off chest on our video. In the kind of siga network wish you on the day. Five minutes, ten minutes chance is the Nantigani. Yeah. Nantamandunaru Mandant law. Thirty three members on our video Mahatima. So delta is zero. Yes, delta is zero. Discriminant is zero. Correct, Vinayaraj. Good. So now uh, let me move ahead with our today's real topic. That is, Vamshi Krishna video off on the. Have a look, children. <clears throat> Today's topic is quadratic formula. What is quadratic formula? Till now, we have seen two methods to find the solution of x for any given quadratic equation. Right? They are factorization method and method of completing square. Both the methods we have seen just now. Now, what is quadratic formula? Quadratic formula is a formula by which you can find the value of x or the roots of x uh, if the given quadratic equation is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero. That is, if, if ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero, where, where a is not equals to zero is 
a quadratic equation is a quadratic equation is a quadratic equation then its roots then its roots are given by its roots are given by yeah now the formula given by x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a by 2a and this by should be starting from this minus b and minus b is above the numerator sorry minus b is upside so please remember this is the quadratic formula this is the quadratic formula x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so here this b square minus 4ac is called as discriminant which we have discussed yesterday it will decide this b square minus 4ac will decide whether you will get a real roots or uh, imaginary roots if they are real whether they are equal roots or different roots everything is decided by b square minus 4ac right yes okay from tomorrow i i am saying that if your video is off i may not allow you nana here many people are against uh, putting their videos off mm. sai dikshit banu prakash srivarli vishnu okay right so now see how we are getting this formula we will be observing this why we are getting this formula and how we are getting this formula x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a okay now that the task is uh, you know a quadratic equation is given by the form general form ax square plus bx plus c is equals to zero now is it monic sidekshit is it monic no it's not monic because the coefficient is not one it is a so let us do something let us divide both side by a divide both side by a i'm dividing it so when you divide what you will get uh, you will be getting a x squared plus b x plus c is equals to zero then by a and here also zero by a right yeah now right hand side zero by a is zero and left hand side uh, that by a will be given for each of the each of the term in this manner and here a and a will get cancelled and you will be left out with x square plus b by a x plus c by a is equals to zero right our first task is over what is that first task uh, making it as a monic now you check Sidekshit. If you check here, the coefficient is what? It is one. So definitely, it is monic quadratic equation. So what is our next task? Take the constant to the right hand side. So when you do that, what you will get here? You will get x square plus b by a x is equals to plus c by a will become minus c by a. It will become now. Second task is also over now what is the third task children the third task is keeping or uh, you know two by two in the second term after the symbol so put the symbol and then you keep two by two and you write whatever is left b by a x after that chandana after that compulsory please circle two and x because that will help you to write it later first that is First, I will be writing x squared, then I will be writing 2, then I will be writing x. That is, I have written 2 also, I have written x also first here. Now, what is left? What is left? b by 2a is left. That is the value of b. So, here I can write b by 2a is equals to minus c by a. By this, you understood what is a and what is b, right? Yes. So here, the same thing which you're getting now, b by 2a, uh, you know that whole square of that we need to add on both sides. So let me write here, add, add, 
b by 2a whole square on both sides okay let me add when i add what you will get x square plus 2 into x into b by 2a <clears throat> just now you decided to add b by 2a whole square b by 2a whole square is equals to we have already minus c by a minus c by a and you will be adding b by 2a whole square right yes so the left hand side uh, left hand side it will be a plus b whole square x plus b by 2a whole square <clears throat> that is something which is in the format of a square plus 2ab plus b square i'm writing as a plus b whole square every time you see it's both the times it is b by 2a b by 2a so b by 2a whole square coming to the right hand side uh, we're getting minus c by a and uh, please allow me give, uh, to give this square for both numerator and denominator you will get b by 4a square now how that is 4a square you please sit and think done yes so now i will be getting here x plus b by 2a whole square is equals to now when you take the lcm of this uh side dikshit what doubt nana sir there you not keep b square ah wow that's correct thank you thank you yes that's why i always require help of side dikshit thank you side dikshit it's b square correct so the lcm will be 4a square uh, in 4a square already a is gone so 4a will be there so you will get minus 4ac plus b square done yeah so in the next step it will be transforming as x plus b by 2a whole square is equals to b square minus 4ac by 4a square now what's that sir here first i have written b square first i have written b square then i have written minus 4ac right yes can i do that yes of course addition is commutative you can reshuffle as per your need yeah so next what we used to do we used to make the x as a subject so please take uh, this square also to the other side and uh, you know when the square is coming to the other side you will be getting x plus b by 2a is equals to square root of b square minus 4ac by 4a square and please don't forget plus or minus what happened the square has transposed to the right hand side we got a big square root and in front of that we are getting plus or minus now uh, let me not take this plus b by 2a now itself because i have some simplifications to be done uh, you know under root of p by q uh, can be written as under root of p by under root of q that is separation of the square roots is possible if the operation in between is either multiplication or division of course it's not possible uh, for addition and subtraction right yeah i don't think i should explain this much hmm? so under root of b square minus 4ac by under root of 4a square what did happen I have given the square root for both numerator and denominator. I have separated it. Why did I do that? Uh, I did it because in the next step, I will be getting plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac. I can't do anything, but under root of 4a square is 2a. Why, sir? Have a look here. Under root of 4a square is actually under root of 2 square into a square that can be written as under root of 2a whole square and the square and the root will get cancelled you will be left with only 2a so the root gone the root has gone completely so this was just for your understanding so by 2a is left in the denominator now you can take the plus b by 2a over here plus b by 2a to the right hand side let me take let me take uh, so when i take what we will get x is equals to chandra plus b by 2a first you write as minus b by 2a then you write plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac 
by 2a. So what I what I mean to say is, instead of taking this plus b by 2a that side, write it before the plus sign, plus or minus. So that's what I'm telling. Plus or minus should come in between always. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do that. 2a. Now, don't you think that the both the denominators are alike? They are called like fraction. Yeah, definitely. So you can uh, put one by two a, and you can just add the numerator minus b plus or minus under root or b square minus four ac. What 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 happened? Instead of two a two times, instead of two a two times, I have just written one time, and we are getting x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a. This is what we have written over here. So this is how we are getting the formula. Ha! So what is the surprise thing? The surprise thing is quadratic formula we are getting after simplifying the general form with method of completing square. So I would say rather method of completing square and quadratic formula are same. But Quadratic formula is the simplest form of method of completing square. Just show me thumbs up. Give me your thumbs up if you have done the screenshot. Done. Sir, Akhil is 11.20. We have more 10 minutes time. Yeah. No, in my class, all the children are good. You can put off your video for 10 minutes. I know. You respect math, sir. But I don't know why people are decreasing. 29. Huh? What happened? Did I not enable the waiting room? Just a minute. Let me check. Waiting room is enabled or not? Yeah, waiting room is enabled. Yeah. Okay. So you have hopefully understood uh, the quadratic formula you have understood, right? So now let me take one question and help you out. You can read out the second question. The second question is nothing but uh, find the roots of the quadratic equation given in the question one uh, by applying the quadratic formula. So what does it mean? It means again, we have to uh, solve the same four questions, but this time by using quadratic formula. Shall I go with the second one first? Yeah. So second one I'm going to solve. 4x squared plus 4 root 3x. Previously we solved it by method of completing square and uh, we got um, minus something we got. What did we get? Minus 3 root 2. Four x squared plus 4 root 3x plus 4 root 3x plus root 3 is equals to 0 plus 3 or root 3 plus 3 is equals to 0. So children, I am in second question now. <clears throat> Quadratic formula. It's uh, the simplest one and the easiest one. Please check it carefully. Divide by 4. Manpreet Singh, kya hua? Kya hua Manpreet Singh? I say na munko satao yaar. Hmm? Given quadratic equation, that is our tradition first step. And then here, if you want to substitute in the formula x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, you need to know what is a, what is b, what is c. So first, please compare the given quadratic equation with the general form ax square plus bx plus c is equals to zero. And please write exactly down what you're doing here. I am comparing. So let me write that also that I'm comparing. I'm comparing with the general form so that I can write clearly what is A? A is 4. What is B? B is 4 root 3. No confusion, please. X place no X only. So X mina ha. X mina ha. Meta anta kuda B. So X mina ha ante E X ni wadli bedde mottam. Mottam ante first term daga poyeru. Only this second term plus four root three is the coefficient. So what will be B? It is four root three, right? And C is what three? You can see we are getting some pure numbers. They are numbers, Nana. No variable will be getting again. Right, 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 right. Now, please write the formula. 
that is x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a by 2a and uh, uh, please put it in a box make a habit of using small scale for drawing this and you have to put it in a box you have to you have to make a habit right now <clears throat> I request you. I request you. Yeah, it's a request. Please first separately find what is b square minus 4ac, which is under the root. No, first find that and then you can substitute later. Right? Yeah. So first let me find b square minus 4ac. Uh, b square minus 4ac. What is b? b is 4 root 3. So obviously b square should be 4, 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a is 4 and c is 3. That is, we will get 4 square is 16 into root 3 square is 3. Uh, minus 4, 4 is a 16, 16, 3 is a 48. Even here also we get 16, 3 is a 48 minus 48, which is nothing but 0. So why I am saying this? I am saying this because I am saying this because it will be comfortable for you to, uh, you know, substitute later. Now you substitute. I am substituting now. X is equals to minus B. There are a lot of chances of, uh, you know, doing mistake or making some error. See, but this minus is the formulas minus, right? Yeah. So I'm keeping formulas minus. In case if B is minus 4 root 3, then I need to again write minus here. Got me? Yes. But here it's not minus again. So please, if it B is again minus 2 times minus will come. So presently it is minus 4 root 3. Uh, plus or minus, I'm writing plus or minus. Now under root of b square minus 4ac, just now you got as zero. So keep just zero over there and by two into a. a is what? a is four. So we will get x is equals to minus four root three plus or minus zero by eight. That is x is equals to minus four root three by eight. Plus or minus zero is there. Actually it is plus zero once. And one is once it should be minus uh, zero. This is the process. So let me do the same process. Why confusion? Right. So once I'm taking plus zero and once I'm taking minus zero because it is two roots, right? Yeah. Uh, so next it will become x is equals to minus four root three by eight. And here again you will get x is equals to minus four root three by eight. What? Yes. Plus zero means plus nothing, adding nothing. If you don't add anything, you will get the same thing. If you don't subtract anything, minus zero means you're not subtracting anything. Again, you'll get the same thing. Now four one times, four two times, four one times, four two times. And finally, you're getting the answer as x is equals to minus root three by two. Even here also you're getting as minus root three by two. So what did I say? Uh, I said that if the discriminant is zero, then the roots will be real. Are they real? Yes, they are real. They are irrational numbers. Lessors are also real. And they are same. They are equal. Right? So at last you can write, therefore, the root is, the required root is, the root is minus root 3 by 2. So when we done the same question by method of completing square, even we got the same answer. So what does it mean? Whatever the method you follow, it doesn't matter. The solution will be same. The answer will be same. Yes. Please take a screenshot of this. Did you take? Right. Give me thumbs up. Okay. So children, now uh, we have two more minutes. Everybody understood method of, uh, sorry, everybody understood quadratic formula, how to use quadratic formula? Everybody understood, no? Yeah. Manpreet Singh? Kya hai? Wo shakal kaise karte hai? Mu kaise karte hai? Thot kaise karte hai? Aap online class mein ho, sab log dekh rahe hai aapko. Samhalo apne aapko beta. Hmm? Achche se rehna. Thik hai. Okay, now see beta. Question number one and three is homework for you. Question number one and three. What? 
yes it is second bit so you should solve these two questions by quadratic formula you should solve this two by quadratic formula tomorrow once again we will uh, start with this fourth one and then we will discuss this later so and so questions so first and third is homework for you i repeat solve this first and sec third first and third sub question by using quadratic formula what is quadratic formula x is equals to minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a just go through the second solution which i have just now given and then try to solve in the same manner